How's it going, folks? Ricky Chainsaw Miller here. <laughs> We're going to give this a go. Uh, as you can see, I've got myself all set up. What I did is I used some of those uh, um, shelving channels, and I just cut it to, uh, to the length a little bit wider than the ladder, uh, so I could rest it on there, and then I just kind of cut the humps off uh, with the old P20. She's got a little Windsor, 16-inch Windsor bar on there. And uh, that was just uh, good enough to clean that up so I can get this uh, leveled on there. And that, that's what, the reason why I went with the little metal channels is uh, so I can use one of these little magnetic um, turbo levels. Sorry, those sheep are quite mad at me. They can hear me talking. Um, anyways, uh, and it was just uh, easier that way. And uh, that seems to be as good as I know how to set it up. So, uh, without further ado, I'll just get you guys set up so you can see, um, whether win or lose, uh, that this goes. Uh, this is just a small little log. I know it'll probably be easier with a bigger one. Uh, but anyways, uh, I just wanted to go with a small log uh, that's softwood just so I can get through it quickly and just kind of, you know, cut my teeth a little and, and get an idea for what I'm in for. So, without further ado, oh, and I just braced it on uh, some 2 by 4s on top of... A mobile chicken coop that's kind of frozen in the ground here anyway so uh, good enough for the first go. The saw we're using today uh, is the Promax 655. I figured you know it's got ample power it's got the uh, oiler override and uh, it's really too bulky to use for just about anything else so might as well use it for this and uh, we'll see how it goes. So um, without further ado away we go we'll give her a shot. The 655 performed really well through that cedar. I'm quite happy with the saw itself. Um, but I was a big dummy and I didn't wear safety googles. I don't know if you noticed. And I really should have wore safety googles. Uh, but anyways. Um, uh, the the biggest problem I had with these channels so far. Is that the uh, the ladder kept slipping off it. So what I might do is. Uh, is like maybe make a bolt on. Or, or, or maybe I'll weld on some bullhorns on the end of them. So it doesn't slide off on the top. Uh. I mean, I'm, like I said, I'm a rookie, and if anybody's got suggestions, I'm listening. Uh, anyways, although I fought with my rail system, the first cut looks pretty skookum, guys. I mean, look at that. So now I just got to readjust the height, uh, and then I can take like uh, one inch or two inch off uh, and get another nice little board out of that. And, uh, and maybe flip it and then uh, get one, I don't know, two more. But these are, are what I'm planning to use uh, for little fence boards. You know, that uh, that turned out, my mathematics uh, worked out pretty decent there. And I got the top cut as a workable fence board, I think. They, I mean, mind you, they still need drying. Uh, and I think the, the rule of thumb from what my research has been, again, I'm a rookie. And if you got information, please, like... I am actually asking you in genuine, you know, faith, uh, or whatever you want to call it. Like, uh, I am genuinely asking for any advice on, uh, you know, this stuff. But the rule of thumb from what I've heard for drying is one year per one inch. You know, so one inch, one year, two inch, two year. Uh, and I think it's the same with like a half inch would be half a year. If I'm wrong, please correct me, I guess. Uh, like I said, I'm a rookie and I'm uh, learning. And, uh, you know, it's just kind of cool that that first cut looks pretty skookum to me. Anyways, <laughs> I'm going to keep on cutting away. And don't you worry, I'll be getting my safety googles on uh, from here on out.
less of a struggle on that one. I stopped a couple times just to give it a little extra oil because we're in the thicker part of the log. Let's see how we did here. I mean, that one felt a lot uh, better. Felt a lot easier. Oh, I think we did good. So this one, obviously, I went for a little bigger than two inch, kind of like, or like a two inch chunky, you know. And uh, looks like I got that. So I might be able to turn this into uh, something eventually. Looks pretty, pretty plume to me. That turned out pretty good, I think, you know. And uh, I think the idea is you can always uh, rip this live edge off if you don't want that. But uh, I'm thinking that uh, I might dry these out and use these for something one day. But I mean, these are just experimental cuts. The idea is worst comes to worst. They make good fence boards. And uh, this one might might make a bench. Make, make a neat little fire bench by the, uh, by the campfire. Anyways. Okay, I think the plan with this piece is it'll either become a fence board, I'll just uh, rough mill that little heavy chunk on that end off, or I might turn this into some sort of a campfire bench. But I've got the other two pieces over here for now. Bear with me. Uh, yeah, I just stuck them up here for now on top of this uh, old bantam coop. Um, I mean, they turned out pretty square, I think, so uh, I think the idea is going to be we'll, uh, we'll get into some bigger wood with this mill now. I'm feeling pretty confident, um, but uh, the idea is going to be that I'm going to weld some bullhorns on that uh, initial cut at the top there. Just because that did uh, allow for a little bit of a weeble wobble there uh, as I was adjusting it as I was going. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that. that, that uh, that's a game changer for me. I can make my own lumber now. And uh, I suppose uh, I'll only get better at it. And uh, like I said, if any of you guys know anything about this and, and have some uh, words of wisdom for me, please, if you can kindly share it in the comments section below, I would love any help on this. You know, I, like I said, I'm green. I'm greener than this wood. <laughs> Uh, anyways, that's my video. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, take her easy. Be safe.